guys welcome back to the channel we were able to find some new stuff in the wild today uh, we had the blasters before but we found some hangers at target so uh, these were the only three on the on the racks so I had to get them so we're gonna we're gonna do a compare um, obviously we opened four blasters last time we got a nice uh, one of the one of the summer parallels we got the umbrella to 50 on a Detroit uh, ball player and one of the hot dog parallels I believe on a Detroit player uh, ball player as well but we're gonna see if we can get anything different out of these two compared to these three uh, hangers everything I've seen these hangers have been awesome so uh, these three hangers should smack these blasters around barring there being something crazy in them so that being said we're just going to get into it and let's start with the blasters here series two has been awesome uh, awesome to watch rip uh, watch breaks, things like that. I mean, it's just been a ton of fun so far. I think the uh, short print chase is electric. I think that it's one of the better things that they've done this year with cards. Um, let me know, I guess, in the comment if you think otherwise and why. Um, also, while we, you know, get into the beginning of this rip here, if you guys could hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, it's those little things that really help me, uh, to get to try and start growing this channel, and that ultimately is the goal, is to try and grow so that we can share more card rips with you, do some more comparisons, and just talk about baseball. It's been a fun season so far, that's for sure. The, uh, the Diamondbacks have been up and down and all over the place, just like most teams. We've lost a ton of pitchers and stuff to injury and... There's Mason Wynn on the rainbow. What a great rookie to get there. Let's throw a top loader on that guy real quick. <clears throat> so there appears to be the stars of the MLB they brought back again. It appears to be retail exclusive. Um, I have not seen. It's just a weird. Pl oh, the cat. That's a catcher's mitt. That's a weird placement there. Um, wow, I didn't realize how far this was. Trying a new camera view. Sorry. Um, Sorry, where was I? The retail exclusive, yes. The Stars of the MLB seems to be like a retail exclusive. And, uh... Honestly, I kind of wish they'd just get rid of it, but... It is what it is. There's our first retail blue there, Nick Lodolo. Another stars. Three more packs in this blaster. We should get four of those Easter parallels if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's another one. Hopefully it's something other than base. Nope, there's a base. Of the retail that I've watched, I don't think that I've seen anybody pull any of the uh, 
the big SPs, Jackson Holiday or anything like that. There's a good one. We'll take that Jason Dominguez rookie. Two more packs to go in this blaster here. I wonder if I can Let's try to move this in just a little. Yeah, that's a little bit better. But I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen anybody pull any of the short prints from a blaster box. Let me know if in the comments if you guys have. Um, obviously they're not in the checklist so it's kind of hard to know whether or not you can actually get them in the blasters or the hangers but I, I've seen like I think the women of it, the women in the MLB um, and all the other inserts. Paven Smith um, out of the blasters, but I don't think I've seen the like actual SPs around the horn. Cool. So I haven't seen how to tell which ones the blue ones of, of these are. I've seen the blues of the other inserts, but not of that one specifically. So, so far nothing to put up there next to that mini mouse. I also like doing the uh, Disney Cosmos. That's what that is, it's a mini mouse porcelain, if any of you are familiar. Get that in a break. There's a hot dogs a parallel there. That's cool. I think these are like one in twenty one packs or something like that, so a little bit more rare. Then the base there. My hands are like super dry right now. It won't let me separate these cards. Corbin, heck yeah. If you didn't do it at the beginning of the video guys make sure you uh, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to help me try and grow this just a little bit so that we can keep ripping I mean I'm gonna keep ripping either way but your support is, would be great, greatly appreciated there Gavin Lux on the retail blue parallel. Nice. Getting some D-backs on those parallels. That's exciting for me. Brandon Fott. Right on. Javi Baez. There's Slade, rookie. JT Romuto. That's just a regular. I think it's this line here. They, they turn blue. If it's one of the Parallel versions. Young Ho Lee. Christian Vasquez. Looks like we got a chrome. Halfway through this blaster, and then that'll get us to the halfway point. Hey, we got Gunner on a parallel. 
Nice. Jonathan Bolin. There's Yamanaga. Sweet. Some good one. We'll throw a sleeve on that guy real quick. Imanaga rookie on the 89 stock. That's a good one. Still waiting for my case of jumbo to get here. And then we'll do a series ripping that. There's Jock and his D-back stuff. Luciano. Ooh, we got a blue. Heck yeah. You can see the lettering is blue. The little thing there is blue. That is how you tell the blue ones apart. Unfortunately, it's on a guy that's out for the season. Oh, that one's gigantic. Whoops. There we go. So that'll go and sit until next year. Let's see if he comes back and is healthy. But very nice. We got to pull one of those. It's not numbered or anything, but those blues are way tougher to pull than regulars. So look. <laughs> We will take that all day. All right. Looks like it's going to be Easter parallel there. Or 4th of July, whatever. There's Lourdes. Sorry, bear with me here on the... I'm going through these guys. It's Juan Soto and the fantasy favorites. He is definitely one of my fantasy favorites. I have him on my team and he is crushing. Fantastic. I believe the blues of these, the lettering and everything is blue. So that'd be a base, but that's okay. All right. So basically out of the hose, we got the retail blues and then a hot dog and a blue parallel here. We got no numbered cards at all out of those two blasters. That was, those were a bust. I don't think these um, hangers are going to have any problem destroying the, the uh, blasters there. But. We'll find out. Let's get into it. Everyone knows the saying, hangers are bangers. So we watched uh, Striker's video going through on how uh, what the best format is to buy, and the uh, hangers seem to take the cake, unless you know, unless you're searching for signatures and stuff like that. Then obviously the uh, hobby is going to be the way to go for that. But if you're looking for parallels, you still get the blue retails in here. Plus you get the yellow. And I do believe I've seen those come out of it. We got one, guys. That's the first one I've pulled. We got a Wemby. Wemby on the first pitch. Amazing. Crazy that the biggest chase in a baseball product is uh, both a basketball and a football player. Uh, well, maybe not the biggest chase. It depends on 
depends on who you are and what you're looking for. I guess the uh, the Jackson Holiday cards are probably up there on that list for most people. So, all right. Looks like we're gonna get a rainbow, yeah, of Drew Rom, Bryce Harper, a bunch of this garbage. Fantasy favorite Shohei, awesome. Then we got Kyle Harrison and Ivan Herrera on our yellows. Overall, happy with that one. Can't argue when you're pulling Wendy's. I, I mean, I've seen people not pull those at all out of cases. So, out of a hanger, we will take that. Well, I know we got Taj Bradley on one of the yellows. See if we get any more. There's a Shohei regular. Sal Frank rookie. I got into a break earlier and got the bought well, my D backs and hit a Sal Frank on the uh, red, white, and blue parallel. It's a 76. Excited about that big time. We got a golden mirror too. We got a friggin' golden mirror. Well, we know that's Corey Seeker, so let's see if we can slow roll this here. It's a red sock. Catcher, Reese McGuire on the Golden Mirror. That, that's cool. I think that's the first one of those I've ever pulled. Heck yeah. Definitely didn't expect that out of a, out of a hanger. I know you can get them out of them, but He goes up there too. Still got, let's see, Ryan Noda. What the heck is happening here? I think that's stuck together. Hold on. There. Jeez. Bobby Witt. On the fantasy favorites. And the two retails. Josh Bradley, Ryan Noda. All right, last one. Can we keep the keep the hits rolling? Let's go. A Wimby in one, and a Golden Mirror in the other. For this series, hangers might just be bangers. I have. Uh, Love-hate relationship with these things. I either buy six and they're trash or I buy three and they're fantastic. So it looks like I bought the three that were fantastic today. At least two. Just blow through this base here. Patel. But I don't want to miss anything either. I'm, I don't know if literally everything is turned around, so.
We got a city to city, a PCA. Okay. So why is this turned into just a rainbow foil? Yep, okay, Bryce Miller rainbow foil. Vlad Guerrero. All right, so it looks like we got one hanger that I would say was not a banger. These, uh, this one was not a banger, but that's okay. We got a golden mirror and a Wemby. The, those two definitely saved this entire rip. That's awesome. Well, uh, so far, I have to say that I like hangers the best. They have produced... Well, I mean, I got numbered cards out of the other blasters, but nothing worth raving about. And out of this rip, I mean, I got the, the parallel of this that's blue and we got those so I still think the hangers are, are the way to go so we'll stick with that I say hangers one you guys let me know in the comments thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next one